it's the crappy year 2020. I'm in my second year of pool ownership. I have a 20 by 40 in-ground diving pool with the board removed. It holds 33,000 gallons of water and has a slope of vinyl sides. It is 7.5 feet in the deep end and 3.5 feet in the shallow end. I've never had a pool robot before and this is an unsolicited review. This is an unsolicited review and that's a picture of my dog pooping in the background. This is the pool in 2019. I started researching pool robots and obviously got the Dolphin brand robots in my search results pretty quickly. In fact, even after purchase, I'm constantly bombarded with the Dolphin Premier robot of some sort. My tech bubble is suffocating me. At first I didn't realize that the Dolphin brand had so many models on the market. Then I started seeing the similarities when I was pricing them. The one I wanted was over $1,000. $1,000 is a lot of freaking money for me, and reviews were a little scary on top of it, so I took my time in the research. I want to know what I'm buying. I'm a fixer, thinker, maker kind of guy. My trade is fixing computers and I tinker with home automation, amateur radio, I homebrew wine, play a lot of chess, etc. I don't like having an item and not know how it works, so pool robots at $1,000 a pop wasn't going to be an easy choice and my search was on. Every time I liked a robot, it seemed it would be a dolphin, and a review or two would keep me from pulling the trigger. Many robot reviews spoke of their robots lasting two to five years. I remember one new reviewer liking their new robot and hoping it lasted more than two years this time so they can get their money's worth. That's pushing $500 a year in expense and pull robots. They seemed okay with this, but it wasn't okay for me. Dolphins are made by Matronics located in Duluth, Georgia. Parts are readily available on eBay and there are plenty of repair videos online on how to fix them. I'm sure this is just as good as it is bad. Reviews are pretty good overall. I just couldn't do it. Don't get me wrong, I fix what I own. I hate the companies that are trying to make this illegal now. I have a right to repair my stuff regardless of the law. I bought it. It is mine and not least rented or otherwise controlled by someone else. I will never buy John Deere, Apple, or Tesla products because of this. Ownership is control. I refuse to buy something where the company insists on controlling my product they no longer own. There are not many alternatives to the Matronics dominated industry. I found the Iper Smart Robot Pull Floor Cleaner Optimus HJ2052 with a Google search for pull cleaners. It had pretty good reviews, and it had a foam roller instead of the brush seen on the dolphins and, frankly, every other robot. Interesting. Looking for parts or repair videos led me to learn that this model number is sold under different brands. Turns out it is made by Tijin Weiyun EPT Company Limited, and goes by the name Winnie Pool Cleaner Company. Started in 2005 as the first chi Chinese company to manufacture robotic pool cleaners. They have a host of pool cleaning and vacuum products on the market today. Winnie, hope I'm pronouncing that right, sells an Optimus, an Optimus Eco, and an Optimus Pro, which have different features than those they make and rebrand for others. I bought the Iper Smart Robotic Pool, Cle pool Floor Cleaner Optimus HJ2052 from Amazon. This robot is currently placed number 63 on the Amazon bestsellers of pool robots. The other brands I know of are Cornotop and Pexis. Paxis. I'm, I know I'm not saying these right. Umotop. Umotop. Uh, Paxis and Iper. I am saying the Iper right because I did ask them how to pronounce it and they said like an I. Also, I bought my unit and renewed by Amazon, so it was used and slight, slightly cheaper. With these savings, I was able to buy another extended warranty sold by Amazon. The foam rollers need to take in water, but I didn't need to drown mine. I simply kept it upright and tilted it. It eventually sank to the bottom. I left it there a bit before turning it on. I bought this particular robot because I saw reviews of it picking up sand, pebbles, worms, needles, small twigs, and fairly large leaves. I was sold on the worms and the leaves. I got two trees that feed my pool all year long. I'll start with the cons. It has two. One, it will, not it will not climb steps. 
It does clean the lower ledge about three and a half feet under and around the pool, but it will not climb the steps. This really isn't a con for me. I'll do the steps if it will do the rest of the 20 by 40 part of the pool. Second con is that it gets stuck at just the right angle of slope. Honestly, it needs a side jet as an anti -move, as an anti movement feature. It needs to have an inertia sensor to know if it isn't moving or have a side pulse jet to move it sideways a bit, or redesign the belt to be open on the bottom like tank tracks. I really don't need to rescue it, honestly. When I leave it alone, it will eventually move. But I've only done so out of sympathy, really, and then just, if ever, so slightly tug on the cord. I know I'm not supposed to tug on the cord, but it really is just a very gentle tug. When you get the unit, there's some foam pads that are included that you can install, and I didn't do this at first. And it, just, it did help with the angle thing, um, so it does climb better and it does have more suction. But that's all the cons I got. I now remove my ladder when I'm cleaning the pool. It didn't get stuck on it, but, it's, but it was always finding the. But I was always finding the robot under the ladder, and it kept, and I felt it kept it from roaming elsewhere. I contacted Iper by sending a message on Facebook. They responded at midnight, and we chatted for a moment. I asked how to pronounce Iper, and it's with the I. I asked about the optional foam pads, and they said it would help climb, and thus confirming what it states in the manual. They were very courteous and helpful. They eventually texted me back and asked me if the if the robot was doing fine. Uh, we're close friends on Facebook now, apparently. Uh, but a very, very friendly company so far. And they've asked me for my suggestions on a new unit. I don't know if that's, if I could be at all, the, they're the engineers. Anyway, it was nice of them to ask. I use this every week now for about two months and my pool is so easy now. If you don't have a robot in your life, you're missing out. I recommend this Iper pool cleaner. I love the large baskets and it really does pick up practically everything. I did have a rock at the bottom of my pool in the deep end. It was a little bigger than a quarter that it didn't get. Considering how heavy it was, it wasn't an issue. So unless your pool has some sort of gravel floor, I really recommend this unit. The filters have a fine mesh on them, so it really does get sand grit as well as the large leaves. Make sure you clean these well between uses. I have almost seven feet of cord that isn't in the water, so it's plenty of cord. It's rigid enough not to tangle, and I'm surprised that doesn't happen. I store it on its side so it takes up less space. I put it on on a very cheap retractable dolly that I got. Um, I've shown it here, and I cover it with a large garbage bag. It's easy to deploy this way. I'll store it different in the winter, obviously. So there it is, my review. I'm thrilled with my purchase. I hope I've helped you. I will post links in the descriptions and keep in mind some of the other brands sell the parts and accessories that will fit this unit too. I hope Iper does well with this model. I'm enjoying it. Until next time. Oh, one more thing. When you set this up to clean for one hour or two hours or three hours, there's no countdown clock shown. What I do is use an app on my phone to count down the three hours to let me know how much longer it has and when it will be done. Uh, the unit just blinks when it finishes. So, there's another tip for you. We'll see ya.